Hi there friends, this is Akash. I'm the founder of this company called AHA Innovations and we have come out with a really useful product called the Next Cruise. Next Cruise basically uh, gives premium features in your car which include cruise control and speed limit, the speed governor basically and eco and sports mode. Hi Ishan, let me show you the interface of the Next Cruise, the features and how exactly we can use it. So Next Cruise uh, Pro version comes with this wireless dial and uh, this is the display on which you see the status of the Next Cruise, uh, various features, if things are working, what mode is engaged, all of that. So first let me show you this dial. So it's a wireless dial, you can keep it anywhere and uh, out of the factory it comes as a thing which can be installed in the cup holder of your car like this. So your cup holder can be anywhere, you can place it, it's a wireless dial and you can also install it on other places like your dashboard like so. You can put a magnetic sticker and put it like this and it can be placed anywhere where you feel convenient. Now coming to the features. So first of all uh, you have the cruise control feature. This center big button when you press it you'll see the cruise light glowing over there once the car is moving of course beyond 5 km per hour once you press it you'll see the cruise coming up and then the car cruises till you press the brake or till you press this button again so and after that the cruise will cancel now while the car is cruising you can rotate this dial clockwise to increase the speed of the car and anti-clockwise to decrease the speed so effectively okay so we call this you know the loving name of this thing is called dial driving and uh, you can use this to drive your car using cruise control even in the city. So there's you know a common word that cruise control is not useful for city purposes but actually that's not true as far as next cruise is concerned because number one the cruise control can be engaged at really really low speeds like five kilometers per hour and above and then the dial driving is actually a pleasure you need to experience it to really uh, get it what we mean. And one more interesting feature, Next Cruise supports the resume function, which means that if you long press on this button for one second, your car will automatically go back to the old cruising speed. So you need not take your car manually to that speed and then engage the cruise. You can simply long press it and let the Next Cruise take the car back to the original cruising speed. So that's it. And everything is, you know, at par or better than what you get from a factory fitted cruise control. Other than the cruise control, Next Cruise has the speed limit or the speed governor feature. You can press this button once and you will see the speed limit LED on the uh, light bar coming up in the same magenta color that you see over here on the dial button. And you press it again and the speed limit gets cancelled. Now what is the speed that the car will limit itself to? That needs to be set from the Next Cruise mobile app. And then the car will remember that speed always until you change it. Then other features include the eco and the sports modes. So eco will bring down the acceleration of the car and also save your car's fuel. You can expect roughly 10% of saving when you're driving your car around. And uh, one more FAQ is that does it work with cruise? So yes, all the features that next cruise have can be can work parallelly. You can engage all of them and the car will behave as the sum total of all those features that you engage. Yeah. Then coming to the sports mode. Sports mode actually makes your car zippy for stop and start city traffic. It of course costs you fuel but you get a feature. We have sports mode, we have eco mode, we have speed limit, we have cruise, we have cruise resume, we have dial driving, plus and minus. The other two buttons, the star button and the square button, they are for future programmability in the coming versions of the next cruise app you are going to have programmability and customization of the buttons so then you'll find these buttons of use so now the car is going at a low speed of 10 km per hour the cruise is engaged which is a first in the world kind of phenomenon and now we can simply rotate the dial clockwise to increase the speed every rotation increases the speed by 2 km per hour so now you can see that the speed has increased to 20 
and I can rotate it anti-clockwise to bring down the speed just like so essentially I can use only the dial to navigate my car uh, as per the traffic requirements so now the car is driving at around 30 km per hour I engaged the cruise and the car is cruising at uh, roughly 35 now I press the brake the cruise is cancelled and now if I long press the dial button and now when I long press the cruise gets automatically enabled and the car goes back to the old cruising speed which was 35 let's now show you the eco and the sports modes so when I press the eco button you'll see the energy glowing in yellow color and now the accelerator the throttle response will become easy it will not be very aggressive on fuel so that's the eco mode for you and this is the sports mode the energy uh, color changes to orange and now the throttle will be much more zippy so you can uh, use it to take the lead from a red traffic light and things like that the eco and the sports modes work for every car that you install the next cruise to normally some cars have modes like this like nexon but essentially your car does not need to have any mode like this the next cruise by itself will give you these two modes to your car then we have the speed limit mode when you press the speed limit you'll see the speed limit led coming up and now the car will essentially be limited to the maximum speed which you set in the app so for example you don't want to violate 80 kilometers per hour speed you can just set that in the app engage the speed limit and leave it there and it can be very useful for parents who want to give a car to their kids but also want to ensure that they don't zip it around so just engage the speed limit keep the dial with you and give the car to your kid and your job is done so speed limit and then of course a lot of our customers have shared that the speed limit all by itself has ensured full return of investment to next cruise a certain customer even shared that he has so far paid 10,000 rupees in only the last year uh, while spe for speed limit violations and he was essentially really happy that next cruise is going to help them avoid all this money you know avoid all these fines so let the next cruise do this for you as well go to our dot store and order it for yourself and uh, you can always speak to aha team on the numbers that you see on this video hope that was it it was useful to you goodbye from team aha